Zelda asked me to aid you, Link. I am the Sage of Spirit, and one of the Zonai. Minu. I am glad to meet you, Link. I must thank you. It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Porapad, then to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite adept, and I am grateful for all your efforts. Link, here. In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant my power unto you. I believe it will serve you well. With this power I've given, a deep bond has been forged between us. And from this point forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. I will help you however I can. Aha! Long ago, my people, known as the Zonai, came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonya and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonya one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonya as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonya and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats. But the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. 
He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. However... The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight appeared all but lost. And then, Raru. committed himself to one final act. so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. Uh, Raru! <laughs> Thousands of years will pass on the blink of an eye. You only delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you. Link, remember this name. You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then... What exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself, and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the Demon King. But... It could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
The power the Demon King wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you. That act is forbidden. For a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Maru! You... won't be able to change back. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. You really have made up your mind? <sighs> Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. <laughs>